What's happening, Crypto Fam? Happy, happy Thursday. Good morning and welcome to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott. It's a pleasure to have you here. I appreciate you taking the time out to consume the content. So thank you. This morning, I want to talk about how Cardano now has a quantum block. Right? Now, I just want to clarify. I'm not going to sit here and bullshit people as if I know more than I actually know about quantum computers. I'm not going to try and sound like I know where it's all going. But I do know that quantum computers work and compute a lot differently and a lot faster than standard computers. It leaves a blurry grey line between the, um, the encryption, the privacy and the security of traditional systems built on traditional computers when quantum computers become more widespread. Again, I don't know, is it going to be anyone can crack any, any standard system? We don't know. What we do know is Cardano's got a quantum block. So out of everybody, they're the ones taking the precautions first. Show me another, show me another ledger with a quantum block. I'm not saying there isn't any. I'm saying I don't know of them. So if you do, drop them in the comments. And if you don't, well, you do now because Cardano's got one. How a stake pool managed to produce Cardano's first quantum block. This isn't even, as far as I'm aware, it's not even IOHK or IOG. This is a stake pool that's um, done this. So Cardano inventor and IOG CEO Charles Hoskinson has celebrated the production of the platform's first quantum block. Created by Cardano's stake pool called Onyx. The operator claims to have successfully used an algorithm on the IonQ quantum computer. The stake pool operator has set out to use this technology to give Cardano's blockchain a source of true entropy. On April the 4th, the operator posted the following message via its Twitter account. Success! I've sampled 32,000 random bits from an 8 quivit circuit with had mad gates on the regatti quantum computer we're not going to act like we know what that meant we're not but we know eight quibit quibit you know the, the 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 binary bits and the quibits that's the difference between the standard computing and the quantum computing base level base level you want to know more go and fucking google what's a quibit Google, what's quantum computer? Google, how does quantum computer work with encryption? Do your own research. I'm here to school people on quantum mechanics and, and, and shit. I'm still trying to learn myself. So, the tweets are in. The tweets are in. It was Onyx Stake Pool. They actually show the quantum computer. Looks like a fridge. Looks like a super duper futuristic fridge so they sampled 32,000 random bits from an 8 quibit circuit with Hadamard gates on the hashtag Rigata quantum computer this is now the first candidate data block for the entropy infusion into the Cardano blockchain Ooh. so the benefits for Cardano's blockchain promising to provide further updates shortly Onyx operator confirmed that adding true entropy to Cardano's blockchain will allow the platform to be more secure and resistant to tampering by bad actors. One of the use cases for this technology could be the tamper-proof slot leader selection. State pool Onyx has four pools. The first one has 46,458,456 funds in ADA and a lifetime re. Uh, ROA of 5.03%. Interesting. With 1,800 delegates and 55 blocks produced, the remaining pools have more than 30 million ADA and a lifetime ROA of between 5.1% and 5.5%. The operator claims to have implemented the practical randomness and privacy amplification approach developed by researchers at Cambridge University and Imperial College London. According to their research, the implementation of this approach was created to reduce 
the execution of the process's complexity to a linear level. In a way, accessible tools can be used to implement it. So investigation claims we have presented the first complete implementation of a protocol for randomness and privacy amplification. The setup parameters, randomness post-processing and statistical analysis were all optimised for real-world quantum devices. Our protocol has linear rates in the runtime of the quantum device and maximal noise tolerance. The randomness post-processing was also tailored to the task of randomness and privacy amplification. Again, and it a school yard on quantum terms, quantum terminology, quantum computers. If it's confusing your Google's your best friend, bro. What's this? What's that? Links in the description for the article. You know the dance. Yeah. That's pretty much it. For the article, right? So we're gonna go and have a little ganders at the price. On your mix, Ripple still consolidating at that 90, 90 to a dollar. Good correction and consolidation. That. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's um. I mean, I think I think eight is on one twenty or something at the moment, isn't it? One dollar twenty at the moment. One dollar twenty six one at the minute. Still in seventh place behind Polka Dot. I mean, it is um, it's the one in it. I mean, XRP is a shizzle as well, but I mean for the for the actual blockchain and for the for the people building. In fact, in fact, watch this, mate. Watch this, mate. Most most active blockchain on GitHub, mate. What, what, what do you think that is? What do you mean the site can't be reached? I'm on Google searching, bruh. The internet gone down. Have I lost internet here? Eh? I can't remember what I just typed. Jesus wept, man. Oh now my mind's on blank. You know when you when you when your mind goes fucking blank. <laughs> Let's see. Right, my internet went off, but it's back on. Um I can't find the article I actually wanted to, which was from a few weeks ago. But I found a similar one from December. Stating Cardano is still the most heavily developed blockchain on GitHub. The amount of commits that the developers actually commit to um, GitHub in the ledger, uh, daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, whatever you wanna, whatever you wanna say. But basically, the developers working on a project, when they do a little update, or they find a hack that makes something easier. Or they crack a bug and they get rid of it or whatever and they commit a new a new update to the ledger. It goes as a commit on GitHub. Yeah. And according to these articles, Cardano is the most heavily developed blockchain on GitHub. Um, again, multi double check sources. They might be giving us a load of BS, but we'll see what they say. The latest data from crypto data aggregator San Santiment has shown that Cardano is still the number one blockchain by average daily development on GitHub with an average of 403 daily commits. Cardano has surpassed Ethereum with 369, Polkadot with 322, and Genosis with 270. And with Heather work currently being done on Goldwyn and Voltaire, it seems that the blockchain is set to see even higher numbers than that. This is worth noting, this is a December article. At this point, ADA was about 10p. It was about 10 cents, mate. So after achieving a massive milestone with the launch of Shelly at the end of the, the July this year, IOHK hasn't slowed down when it comes to developing Cardano. The company currently handles two parallel work streams, developing Goldwyn 
which will bring about smart contracts and Voltaire, its governance era. The massive amount of work that's been done both with IOHK and by its other partners has put Cardano at the top of the list of the most heavily developed blockchains currently on the market, which might be a reason they're one of the first to introduce a quantum block. You know this. According to Crypto Differ, the data aggregator Cardano leads the way when it comes to average daily development on GitHub, recording an average of 403 commits in November. This may well change. If you go and look at this now, for March, may well have changed. It may well have changed. But the fact of the matter is that in November, it was at the top. I read uh, in December it was at the top, November it was at the top, shortly after I read it was at the top. Now I'm reading we're getting quantum blocks, the NFTs and and, and all the rest of it are, are just round the corner. It is getting an extremely exciting for the possibilities and prospects of Cardano is bringing. Absolutely. Can canny wait, mate. Canny wait, mate. Let's have a little gander at Nomics before we do one. Got stuff to do today. Again, if I don't, I don't have time to go live about this game today, it will be weekend. But stay tuned on that because we've got a lot to talk about. We're gonna do an, an ask me anything soon while I, while I build my game. One twenty, man. XRP still, still consolidating near that dollar. It all looks ready to go, don't it? I mean, look at Hex there, two cents. Damn Hex. Damn Hex. Stella's on fifty cents. That's nice. Tron twelve cents. Crazy. Crazy. I had some of them back. Well, I made a nice profit off Tron, so people can say what they want. It's all mine at three cents. But you took profit, so that's the, that's the crack in it. V-Chain made 11 cents, looking ridiculously strong at the moment. V-Chain Thor. Oh, my days. We're, we're nearly ready, aren't we? We're primed. Pop, 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 pop. Oh, End of summer is going to see some exciting times, guys. Um, if... Don't sleep on Cardano and Ada. I know it's over a dollar, and it might you might be gutted that you're not going to get December prices again. And December wasn't even that far to go away. I was lucky enough to get in in December, and you know it's. Don't sleep on it. And don't just sit there thinking that you've missed out because it is going to be one of the most prominent and respected blockchains out there when they're finished. It will be. It's going to surprise a hell of a lot of people who are not really looking into it. <clears throat> people like to look at Ethereum and because it's already got all the NFTs out, it's already got this and that. It's had crypto kitties for four years, mate. I'm not. It gives a shit. It gives a shit. Talking like everyone's still driving Model T Ford, mate. Yeah? Talking like everyone's still on fucking AOL, mate. Or NTL TV. Or fucking 9X. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Them kind of people like to talk like there's only ever one winner. There's only ever one winner. There's never only ever one winner, mate. Ever. You know, name, name, name me one thing where there was only one winner. Where one... Not... not not one other person felt like a fucking winner. It didn't happen. I don't care if it... I don't care. It didn't fucking happen. People win together. No one wins alone. No one. No fucker. Show me someone who won alone. You, you, mm, mm, mm. They've got family supporting them. Trainers training them. They've got fucking people funding them. No one fucking wins alone. 
The guy stood there with his Olympic gold fucking medal while the whole fucking country's cheering like they've won. Don't tell me he won alone. <laughs> but what I'm getting at is there's never only one winner in anything, whether it's your mobile phone contract providers, whether it's your electricity provider, whether it's your gas provider, yeah? The local estate agents, there's never just one of them. There's not just Sky TV, there's Sky or Virgin or BT. There's not, do you know what I mean? There's not just Vodafone. You've got Vodafone or O2 or AT&T or this or that. There's never just one. There's not just Shell, Oil, there's fucking BP. There's... there's, there's <laughs> They monopolise this shit. The world will never agree on one ledger. And Ethereum's shit and the gas prices is shit. So Cardano's going to kick its ass in the end anyway. So there's always that. But don't sleep on Cardano. And don't listen to them dickheads being like, oh, well, the Ethereum's already, Ethereum's already doing this, and the Ethereum's already doing that. Just wait for 2.0, mate. Just wait for 2.0, mate. Just wait for 2.0, mate. I'll tell you what, I'll wait for your funeral and have a fucking party, shall I? <sighs> don't wish people dead, but I just wish they shut the fuck up. <laughs> anyway, on that note, enjoy the rest of your week. Invest in yourself. The internet of value, live long and hodl it all till you're ready to let it go. Wishing health and happiness to you and yours. Be patient, be grateful, and get happy. Until next time, take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.